when you download mod tools, you'll get the mod tools zip. Um, you can extract all of that uh, right here. And inside of here, you'll have the mod tools for Maya, Unreal, and the Blender zip. If you're familiar with Blender, um, you will just go open a Blender and go into Preferences. And in Preferences, you can hit Install and navigate to the script, Desktop, Mod Tools. Click on the Mod Tools Blender.zip and install the add-on. Enable that and save the preferences. Now, um, in the side panel, you'll see Mod Tools. Perfect. <clears throat> we will take this diner um, and send this little desk stand thing over to Unreal. This is the scene in Unreal Engine. For installing the Mod Tools into Unreal Engine, you need to make a folder called Python, capital P, Python, in your content um, folder in Unreal Engine right here. Um, and anything inside of this folder, um, your uh, Unreal Engine will look to um, those Python scripts when it is calling function. Inside of the project we have here, um, inside the content folder, I already have a Python um, folder made with um, mod tools, but we will um, just delete that. And the PyCache is just because every time a Python script gets run, it makes an, a PyCache folder. Um, once you have made the Python folder, all we need to do is take, go back to the mod tools folder that we extracted earlier and into the mod tools Unreal Engine. And we can take the mod tools U asset and the mod tools um, dot pi and bring those into the Python um, folder in our project. Now, the mod tools U asset can go anywhere in the project, um, but the mod tools Python file needs to go inside of the um, Python folder in the content folder. So now that we have those, we should be able to see them in the project. Well, we'll see the mod tools U asset, but not the Python script. All we need to do is um, run the utility widget and there is mod tools. I'm just gonna dock it here um, for convenience, but this is our script. Now we can easily transfer the positional data from um, Blender or Maya into Unreal Engine. Normally what a workflow would look like is taking this object, um, duplicating it, and combining all of these meshes into one, right? I have array modifiers um, to help me iterate quickly. Um, I have mirror modifiers to help me um, duplicate things around. I might have instanced objects as well, but I would duplicate this. I would apply all of the modifiers and join all the meshes. Now I have one mesh, which I will rename. Then I would export FBX, go to the models, temp, let's just take this, name it properly, um, give it a prefix of static mesh, and export it. Now, if I were to import this into any other 3D application, it would come in at this position with this pivot point, right? But Unreal Engine does not do that. What it will do is if I pull in this, and it will do this. Not exactly ideal. With mod tools, uh, it's much simpler. 
select all of the objects you want to export and group them. Now, with them grouped, um, select the group parent and navigate to where you want the export to be, which will be the same place. Now, all I need to do is hit export. In Unreal Engine, I can import the cabinet and pivot point is correct. It is zeroed out. And in the mod tools panel, all I have to do is hit position and it will position it with the correct pivot point. With the original method, if I want to edit this, <clears throat> I would need to duplicate combine and then re-export re it, <clears throat> which isn't terrible, but it seems like a task that uh, the computer should be able to do. Um, and if I don't wanna have to keep duplicating it, then I am just stuck with editing um, baked down meshes. I can't use modifiers, or if I do, I have to apply them every single time before I export it. With this method, I can continue to use all my array modifiers and just select the group parent and you know, let's say I, these drawers were <clears throat> too long, or maybe I wanted more drawers. And then I can add those in. Now I just need to select the group parent and hit export again. And back in Unreal, I can re-import it.